All right, we've been talking about the new Associated Press poll a few moments ago there about uh, opposition to refugees, uh, mistrust of our president, the desire for more military action to support action against terrorism. Uh, do you have numbers uh, based on any of those topics at the C Siena polling station? Well, what we uh, looked at in, the, in, in this month's Siena poll that came out yesterday um, is a couple of those issues in terms of how New Yorkers feel. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the issue of Syrian refugees, uh, the majority of New Yorkers would oppose uh, Syrian refugees coming to America at this point in time. 52% uh, of New Yorkers say they're opposed to it, 39% in support. Uh, we see a fairly wide um, partisan divide there. Uh, Democrats, by a small margin, are supportive, 50 to 41 percent. Independent voters, by a small margin, are opposed, 50 to 42 um, percent. But Republicans are overwhelmingly opposed uh, to Syrian refugees coming uh, to the country at this point, by a margin of 78 18 percent interesting uh, uh as compared to the numbers i was quoting there from the associated press poll pretty close uh, that poll show 53 percent oppose the obama administration's plan to allow refugees in as opposed to the 52 percent that you quoted for new york state and what's interesting about that is that new york is a very blue state i mm -hmm. mean we we as a state are much more democratic in enrollment than the country as a whole uh, this state has a better than two to one Democratic enrollment edge. Uh, so the fact that New York and, and the nation are, are matching on, on an issue like that uh, is a little bit surprising to me. Yeah, Democrats nationwide uh, favor the plan 41 percent to 32 percent. So that's a little maybe lower than the Democrats in New York that you quoted, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, although fairly close. I mean, it's a nine point edge mm -hmm, right. in terms of support. We have that as well. We just have a, a, a we have it fifty to forty one. So we have a much smaller don't know no opinion than, than the national Democrats. And maybe not so shocking, but concerning. Uh, finding nearly percent, n nearly ninety percent of New Yorkers concerned, and then I see here in quotes sixty percent very concerned of another terrorist attack happening in New York in the near future. Absolutely. Look, uh, and it's across the board. I mean, uh, some people thought it was a little surprising. It's actually the, the concern is a little bit higher upstate than down in New York City, although very, very close. Uh, New York City, 86 percent of voters concerned. The downstate suburbs, 88 percent. Upstate, 90 percent. Uh, but again, those numbers are very close. So, you know, New Yorkers know that we have been the target of uh terrorist attacks many times in the past obviously we were the epicenter on on, on uh, september 11th uh back in 2001 so yeah new yorkers are definitely concerned about it i just want to hop back because one of the other issues that you mentioned in terms of the ap story uh poll was a, a an issue we looked at as well in new york we asked new yorkers do you support or oppose president obama's uh, the job that he's doing in confronting the terror terrorism threat facing the country, mm -hmm. New Yorkers evenly divided. Forty six percent support of the president's uh, efforts, forty seven percent oppose, and there we see an even wider uh, partisan gap. New York, uh, Democrats support the president, sixty five to twenty nine. Uh, independents uh, oppose the president's actions. Um, by a 55 to 40 percent margin, Republicans, more than three quarters of Republicans, 78 percent oppose the president's efforts in this regard. And Talk, that, talking to Steve Greenberg, by the way, from the Siena College poll here on the Talk of the Town at 100.7 FM WUTQ. Very interesting numbers. And as you mentioned, you know, kind of splitting uh, party lines with that, uh, you know, with that sediment and the president making some announcements yesterday. I'm not sure where he's going with this. And but it, it is very interesting to see, as you mentioned, you know, pretty much split uh, right down the middle. Uh, yeah. I, uh, you know, look, uh, the president. Um, is not as popular as he was earlier in his administration. We are finishing the seventh year of his term uh, in office. Um, so it, it's not particularly surprising. 
But New Yorkers still continue to like the president in terms of his favorability rating. 53% of New Yorkers uh, have a favorable view of Barack Obama. 42% have an unfavorable view. Not surprisingly, we see that huge partisan uh, divide again with three quarters of Democrats viewing Obama favorably and more than 80 percent of Republicans viewing Obama unfavorably with Republicans literally split down the middle. I mean, I'm sorry, independent voters literally split down the middle. Also, uh, very interesting numbers. I I think, uh, you know, with the poll that you just released, you covered uh, many different things in, in regards to the uh, refugees and the uh, in, in how folks feel with that reforms needed in Albany and, you know, the, the Sheldon Silver case. And also, I think something that that's very interesting, we've been talking about the attorney general, Eric Schneiderman, and his take on the fantasy sports games and some of the folks, well, a majority of the folks sticking by his side. Uh, overwhelmingly so. So, uh, look, first of all, um, only 3% of New York voters tell Siena that they have ever participated in a daily fantasy sports competition. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I've, I've played fantasy sports for years, since 1985, but never on a daily basis as well. So I can concur right. with that. <laughs> right. So, and, and you know, I mean, right, I know a lot of people who do, you know, fantasy baseball teams over the course of a season or right. fantasy football season. Uh Teams, but they're really competing with a group of guys or right. a group of friends. As a, and, and nowadays, obviously, everybody does it online because it's easier to keep track of all the stats and all. But, you know, these daily fantasy games where you pick new teams every day and you're actually putting up money every day and potentially winning or losing. Um, but even 3% of New Yorkers, if, uh, of New York registered voters, it's still about 400,000 people. Um, so what we said to them was that the daily fantasy sports companies, including FanDuel or DraftKings, say that their daily games involve more skill than luck, so they're not gambling and therefore they're legal in New York. And that the Attorney General, Eric Schneiderman, says that the daily fantasy games are simply a new form of gambling and they're illegal under New York law. So we asked voters, who do you think is right? 66% of voters said the attorney general who says that daily fantasy sports is gambling and illegal in New York is right. Only 34% of New York voters say that the daily fantasy sports companies who claim that their games are games of skill and not gambling and therefore not illegal in New York, only 34% agree with them. Hmm. So we have an almost two-to-one margin where voters say that the attorney general is in fact correct. Steve, you must love your job because it's fascinating to hear what folks really are thinking. No question. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. Uh, when, when are the latest poll numbers coming out from uh, Siena with regard to the presidential candidates? Well, we're, we're, we're done for 2015, so uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll be out with our next statewide poll uh, sometime in mid-January after the governor does his uh, state of the state and com combined state of the state and budget message. Uh, we'll, we'll go into the field after that and see how voters feel about some of the proposals in, in his plans for 2016. And at that point, we'll only be, you know, a week or two or three away from, uh, the first presidential contests in Iowa and New Hampshire. So we'll see where the field is at, both on the Republican side and the Democratic side. Uh, heading into the, the heavy primary season. All right, and that'll be sometime after the governor is indicted, according to the rumor from the Buffalo Chronicle, mm -hmm. which is supposed to happen on January the 2nd. We'll be following that with interest as well. Uh, you know, I can't imagine we're going to see an indictment on a Saturday, but what do I know? <laughs> and, uh, look, uh, I, I live in the capital region. Uh, my life is filled with rumors, so <laughs> I don't put a lot of stock in rumors, either ones that I agree with, disagree with, I, I just, let's wait and see what really happens.